Okay, there's a quick solar update. All of the battery bank has been enclosed now. Uh, we had it operating for two months now and it hasn't taken any um, power from the grid. It hasn't needed to take any power from the grid through the inverter to charge the batteries up so we've been kind of pretty much self-sufficient. Um, systems work really well. The only thing improvements I've made is I put a DC 24 volt uh, fan an extra one which is just uh, sort of at the head of the inverter just to keep it cool I've also put a metal plate which I've covered in hammerite as an extra heat sink for the 6000 watt inverter which is what that is uh, it's got a peak of 18,000 watts um, and also I've used this um, temperature gauge and set that so it goes up if it gets up to 37 degrees on the shell it'll start the 24 volt fan up and then cool it down a lot more at the moment the internal fans are on um, both ends because Jax is actually doing an experiment at the moment um, with a 2200 watt um, lawnmower which has been mowing for the last five minutes so that's uh, drawn quite a lot of the power down but it seems to have not tripped the breakers um, I've just put a little couple of gaps in there so it can where is it? There. That's the isolator for the inverter. And then we've got the two um, DC breakers in there. So I can easily get to them if I need to. But I didn't want to have anything externally on the battery bank itself to cover it all up so that as it's a sort of working garage, nothing gets knocked or chipped. So I've enclosed it all there. So there's the two isolators as you can see. I've built that, which is a combiner box and used um, these sort of breakers I won't ping them out at the moment because they're all uh, in motion it's a 63 amp DC uh, isolator as well just in case these over well there's a short circuit in the panels it should flip this um, if there's enough voltage going through it um, if not obviously the main isolator is there that's the 60 amp MPP T controller which uh, I've, I've actually seen go up to 70, 75 amps. So um, that's why I had the issue with the DC breaker um, tripping. I've had to put a slightly larger one in, um, 150 amps. That's a 40 amp MPP charger, MPPT charger, sorry. And then that's the array coming through there. So the front lot, which I'll just show you, are all wired all six uh, they're six 250 watt panels they're all wired in parallel um, I think there's two actually in series so we don't go over the 150 volt max of the 60 amp uh, and the four on the back of the house which I shan't show you now but the cable for it comes down the side of the house here you see and then goes into the garage there. Uh, there's four wide in, uh, two wide in series and then two in parallel so the voltage is around 75 volts because this is a max of 100 volts I think you'll see on there yeah 100 volts so we've got the 75 volts and about a max of 16 amps so yeah we wired two in, two in uh, series uh, and then we went into parallel to bring it down just to up the voltage, obviously the higher the voltage with a long cable run the better. Um, and that's about it, I mean it seems to be working fine, it's working on, what's it powering? So it's powering the fridge freezer, big old fridge freezer in the garage. It's powering the washing machine, it's powering the hoover, it's powering the microwave, um, the fridge freezer in the kitchen, the TV, the amps, the projector, uh, and all of the housing circuits as well both up and downstairs and it's also operating my little auto lamp here so this is an old solar lamp which I converted put a 24 volt lorry DC light in and I worked it with this auto switcher so at night time it will kick in uh, and that basically goes into the lamp part of the thing here you'll just see the wires come in and you'll see that the lamp you can't really see it from there very well Anyway, 
it operates automatically so I don't even have to think about it, it just comes on and goes off at night so yeah that's about it really good update and it's been going without taking any power obviously we're in the summer lots of sun so we'll do another update in the uh, as it gets into the winter months and see how we uh, fare there okay bye for now